Okay, so, um, so who are the advocates and leaders and evangelists of the IoT movement? And it turns out uh, that five of the, the biggest leaders uh, met several years ago to form this Industrial Internet Coalition. Um, uh, and these five uh, got together and decided that they really wanted to focus on what they could do as an industry to support and promote all of the aspects of, of this Internet of Things. Uh, today there's probably close to uh, 200 members that are part of this. Um, but uh, they are the ones that, have, that are really driving all of the, the developments that we're seeing in, in IoT. It's much more of a push by, by industry than a pull by, uh, by us, the, the consumer. So how about IoT for the maker? Um, and I'd say that, uh, that if you're getting started, there's the three things that I'd say is first, pick a board to get started with, uh, a microprocessor, microcontroller. Do some prototyping and then get some inspiration. And the only way you really do it is by just jumping in and, and doing something. Um, the two boards that I, that I think are, are most popular, um, the two that I started with, is the Ardu Arduino Uno and the Raspberry Pi. One's a microcontroller, that's the uh, Ar Arduino Uno, uh, and, which, and what makes it a microcontroller is that it has no operating system. The program you write for it is the only thing that runs on that particular device. The Raspberry Pi is actually a full-fledged computer. It runs a variety of operating systems. Uh, the one most popular is a version of Unix that runs with it. But Windows 10 has just been announced to actually have an IoT version that will be running on the Raspberry Pi, as well as a couple of other of these microprocessors. The real strength and the logical starting point is the Arduino Uno. And it's because there is such a community of use. Uh, it, if you find any example about an Arduino, it will be based around the Uno, even though this is, I will go on to this. Uh, here's an example of, of the Arduino, of a whole variety of Arduinos and Arduino knockoffs. So while they all, if, if you know the Arduino, you can do any of these, but any example you'll find, any, um, any tutorial you'll see will start with the Arduino Uno as an assumption. So that's the place to start. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is also very, very interesting and, and all, very popular. Uh, but again, it's a microcontroller and it involves an internet. The Uno is good for uh, real-time applications. The Raspberry Pi is more um, processing intensive type applications. Next step is breadboarding, and um, the best way to do that is just maybe pick up a kit and then start just doing some of the examples they give. And once you do that, you really get very confident with doing these things that seem rather techy and so forth, uh, but it's not very hard. And, and once you get used to it, uh, once you've done it a couple of times, uh, you really get into doing more complex things. And then finally, Oh. Well, I'm missing one. <laughs> one is, what do you do for inspiration? Uh, and I'd say the first thing you do is, um, or, or there's, there's three things. One is to get involved with um, all these different communities that are, that are starting up. Um, uh, oh, and I can't think of the name of it, but... Uh, different groups of like-minded interests that can can be technology related um, or anything else uh, and it, get into the, to those groups and just get their emails and, and find out the ones that are doing things that are of interest to you. Uh, it might be Arduino based, it might be uh, just plain microprocessor based or development of iPhone apps, uh, but plug into those, see what they're doing, and every now and then go to, to one of their meetings or one of their conferences. Um, 
The second thing is just the internet. To get on the internet and look for the examples and the tutorials uh, for whatever it is you're interested in doing. And then finally, uh, is to find like-minded people. And you'll find that right here at the barn. So join the barn and get become a part of the electronic and technical arts group. So that's, that's the Internet of Things. Do you have any questions?